Hey guys, it's Norm from Tested. I'm at CES 2013 and I'm holding in my hand the Polaroid IM 1836 camera, otherwise known as, you might have read on the internet, the Android camera. Now something's interesting, I'm not actually at the Polaroid booth, I'm at the Sakaar booth. And what you might not know is that Polaroid actually doesn't make their own develop, their own cameras. They actually contract those out to other companies. And Sakaar is a company based in New Jersey. They make Vivitar cameras, kind of entry level cameras, and they've adopted they've developed this for Polaroid, which is a camera that runs Android. You might have seen last year, there were cameras that run Android, Samsung has one, but this is the first one that actually has an interchangeable lens system, and a kind of unique one at that. Let's talk about Android first. When you turn this on, it's gonna be ice cream sandwich in the back. They're using you know, a quad-core processor. That's not really all that important. This is early software, early hardware, obviously, so it's not gonna be completely smooth, but intentionally, they wanted to expose the Android interface to users because this camera is really targeted for kind of the casual photographer, not someone who might have a Canon 5D Mark II or even like a Sony NEX system. Someone who's used to shooting point and shoots and maybe has a smartphone, knows the Android interface, Android ecosystem, knows Instagram, knows Twitter, but wants to use that in a better camera system. So that's kind of like what Samsung also did, but Samsung had a dedicated camera button. This one also will have a dedicated camera button right here, so you're gonna always be able to jump to that camera mode. You'll be able to plug this into USB and sideload your app, so use whatever camera app you want on this. It's a touch screen, obviously. Um, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly compact camera, not the smallest we've seen. What is also very interesting is this interchangeable lens system. When people announce, when, when Polaroid announced this camera, this car announced this camera a couple days ago, a lot of people wondered, what's the size of the sensor? Because we're always talking about sensor size, right? Is it, what size is that CMOS sensor? Is it just the size of a point and shoot? Is it one inch? Is it micro four thirds? Well, it's actually comparable to a micro four thirds. I'm gonna show you on the inside right now. This is actually the kit lens. It's 10 to 30 millimeters. And if you actually look on the inside, the, uh, the, the range is uh, f3 to f5.6, which is all right. So cars making their own lenses. We'll have to actually test this in person to see how those optics work. But if I pop open this lens, you see what might look like a sensor? That's not actually the camera sensor. That's just here for aesthetics. All that matters are those gold pins for the viewfinder. The sensor is actually in the lens here. That's what they decided to do. The decision was, if they're gonna sell this to you know, mom and pops who aren't used to having an interchangeable lens system and they're gonna change lenses, they don't wanna risk damaging an exposed sensor, so they kept that protected on the inside. That also means when you buy something like a pancake lens or a telephoto lens, every time you buy a new lens, you're gonna get a different sensor or you know, a sensor in the lens they say that they're going to subsidize the cost of that, so it won't be that much more expensive. It'll be comparable to other lenses within those focal ranges, but again, the sensor is in the lens. They're also planning on licensing other adapters with Nikon Olympus. They don't have specifics yet, but they will release adapters that you can buy, a small adapter that you can attach here so that that adapter will have a sensor, and then you'll be able to plug in another lens with minor cropping, minor focal adjustment, but it'll be comparable to a micro four thirds, a little smaller than that one inch sensor size in this camera. The idea is that this is to get those mom and pops who are used to those point and shoots, used to a newer system so that a couple years down the line they can upgrade to something a little beefier. The price range for this is $350, which is for an interchangeable lens system, it's, it's on the cheap side. That's pretty affordable. And the fact that you can sideload any Android app, you can do your you know, free time laps, you don't have to pay for those apps separately, that's pretty compelling. Uh, this is gonna be released in the summer from Polaroid and Sakaar, and something I'm, I'm interested in. So we'll have more from CES 2013. You'll find more at test.com. I'm Norm, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.